So my beloved brothers and sisters, when we say Allah is Tawwab, it is actually not us who say this. It is him. Subhanallah. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam tells us, Inna Allah ta'ala yabsutu yadahu bil layli liyatuba musi'u nahar wa yabsutu yadahu bin nahari liyatuba musi'u layl hatta tatlu'a al-shamsu min maghribiha. What a powerful narration. Every day, Allah stretches the hand of mercy. Allah stretches his hand to forgive those who have committed sin by night. And every night, Allah stretches his hand to forgive those who have committed sin by day. Every day. Until when? Did Allah say we'll only do it for the first 20 minutes of, you know, this thing or that thing? No. For the first 20 minutes every Jumu'ah? No. Until the sun rises from the west. That means until the end of time. And there is another narration that says, Inna Allah Ta'ala yaqbilu tawbat al-abdi ma lam yugharghir. Allah will accept the forgiveness of any worshipper for as long as they have not arrived at the point of gargara, which means right at the point of death. When your soul is being removed from your body, that's the time when the doors of tawbah are closed. Before that, totally open, wide open, completely. That is a tawab. That is the mercy of Allah. My brothers and my sisters, Never lose hope in that mercy of Allah. He loves you. And I promise you, when you have difficulty and hardship, you need to know that's the reason why we're on earth. Nobody on earth does not have difficulties or hardship, including the presidents and the wealthy and the leaders and those who have materialistically absolutely everything. They also have problems. They have issues. There will also come a day when they too will die. They will be on their deathbeds just like the others, more powerful and more wealthy and more good looking were on their deathbeds just before they died. You know, but we're going to a better place. Definitely. I have absolutely no doubt. Allah does not allow you to suffer beyond a certain point. But when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tests you with something you may perceive as negativity, it's actually supposed to draw you closer to him. It's supposed to make you realize that this world is something temporary. This world is something that is not supposed to be filled with all the roses. Perhaps I have more than I deserve. It's the gift of Allah. But when I get into the hereafter, I will definitely see a lot. I will definitely then have the best of the best. Allah has promised that to me.